Okay, and that's the whole frame finished. Now, it's entirely made from paper, held together with glue and fibre. Apart from this bit, which is the steering head column, and this bit, which is the rear axle holder. Now, it's changed a little bit from the first design that I showed you because I can be a little bit anal when it comes to worrying about stress points. So from this holder, I've put a beam going down there, I've put another beam in the centre of this box, and I've put two stairs either side there, to give that an awful lot of rigidity and strength. And the same with this rear axle holder. I've added these sections here where we've got a stair going right the way to the axle holder, some uprights and a spreader to keep that one nice and stable. Now, in 1175, we went through the axle, which is here, and how to make a rear differential out of bike parts. This central axle bit, just the main bit, I got from Fun Bikes. And so I was able to get the bearings, which are right here, and this bit, which is the bearing holder, from the same place, making it really easy for me. <coughs> now then, we've got to the exciting bit, the bit where we bolt some pieces on, because when we get to this bit, it actually starts to look like a trike. And of course, when we do this, we can work out where all those bits and pieces are gonna go, like where the seat is and where the pedals are gonna go, and it's kind of very rapid to get this finished. So all I have to do is bolt on the axle, fit the wheels back on, and then put the front forks in. And there it is with its wheels on. Now it really is looking like a thing of beauty to me. I don't actually like the seat. Okay, I tried the recumbent seat and I really didn't like it. Uh, the idea of laying down in, in oncoming traffic just didn't appeal to me in the least. So I stuck a saddle on it. I mean, it is a recumbent bike. If you want a recumbent seat, then put a recumbent seat on it. Me, it was not me. I didn't like it at all. So I put this on. <coughs> it's actually a really nice height for me. So that's the trike build actually finished pretty much. I'm going to put the pedals on. But the build itself is finished. It's now time to add some motors and give this a run. You can see I've also added these handlebars here because now I'm on a saddle, these handlebars actually make a lot more sense. So let's bang a motor on this. Okay, we've got this thing upside down and we're gonna to need to fit some pedals and that's what I've got. That's gonna be my chain drive. Now the chain drive up at the front of the pedals actually is intermediate part on these long bikes. What you tend to do is have a chain drive somewhere like there and then you have a cluster somewhere like there. This train drive drives this, this is where you do your gear change and this goes to the back cog there. So we still need to fit a cluster. But we're going to fit the pedals and that's going to be this chain drive and I've worked out that it's most comfortable for me here. Got a couple of cranks that go nicely on there and there. And all I've got to do is jam it in there. Okay, there's the pedals in place right there. Now they're just going to be foot rests for a little while till I get the chains in. But I want to get the motor on and I want to get it running in the car park. Next bit, put the motor on and that just goes on the back and end. that's it finished as far as the electric trike is concerned. I've still got the pedals on. But you've got to remember, this is not about building a trike. This is about building a trike out of rolled up newspaper, which I think is awesome. Now the paper is already carrying the substantial wedge of these batteries and it equally has to carry a fat boy. So I'm going to sit on it a minute and give it a go, but I think the paper is holding up beautifully. You want to make a paper trike, there's all the videos how to do it. Now all we've got to do is give this thing a go. First stage is over, it hasn't broken, which is pretty cool. Let's see if it'll move. Oh good God. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I mean, it's a lot of fun. It goes pretty fast. You can feel the fingers of the wind ruffling your hair as you zip along. But like I say, main thing, the thing's made out of paper. Carries some weight, and that differential that we made actually works a treat. You really can feel it working. So, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Thank you very much for watching, and please remember to subscribe.